We call it a platform architecture because it, it, it really is defined uh, at the platform level. Uh, within the specifications, we define a memory model for how the processors share data and things like the visibility order uh, between threads and work items. Absolutely fundamental if you're going to have multiple vendors supplying platforms uh, into the same ecosystem that they all obey the same rules when it comes to sharing memory. We've crafted a virtual ISA for parallel processing. This, this is very important because it's what allows <coughs> HSA to be ISA agnostic. So GPU compute cores from any vendor or even other parallel processing cores can run HSA. It's important to understand <coughs> that the, the abstraction is at the right level. Uh, and what I mean by that is that the, the parallel ISA it is defined at a level where it can be finalized uh, or assembled uh, to, to the machine code in a very short amount of time. Uh, and that's important for, for interactive applications. You can't be waiting for a long compile time uh, when the system works. One of the things we stressed in the keynote <coughs> is the ease of programmability. You know, one of the things that has held back the industry in being able to run parallel programs more efficiently is the <coughs> legacy infrastructure uh, for, for execution. <coughs> We've had it for about <coughs> 25 years. Uh, it's been good for probably 20 of those, but right now it's holding back <coughs> the unleashing of the lower power processing for parallel workloads that's available on the GPU cores. So with HSA, we break out of that legacy. We provide a platform definition. It's ISA agnostic. <coughs> it's an open standard so that all of these companies uh, can join in um, <coughs> and actively uh, support this new platform. And remember, the, the group of us here today are the initial founders. Um, we expect uh, announcements for additional founders and many more uh, additional members of the HSA consortium at multiple levels. So in short, it's about an open standard, more efficient processing, recognizing that we have heterogeneous modern workloads that need to run at the lowest possible power. And the power savings is only achieved if it's easy for the applications to use the platform. And we've drastically reduced the complexity of the programming.